Hello, I'm Kyle. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the parallel function for the Doye hybrid inverter. This one is the Doye fabricator or the hybrid inverter. Yes. And the, this second one also is fabricator watch. And this one is the third one, fabricator watch. Okay, let's see. If you want to use the parallel model, you go to the advanced function, press the, the down arrow button, down arrow, down arrow, and we, we click the parallel and the switch. And we need to, we need to use the one piece of every water as the master. And we choose uh, is the motor bus address is zero one. It means the uh, this one is the master hybrid. The, the use uh, uh, power in the same phase, same phase system. Also, we go to this one. This one we click the runs. Also, we click the payroll, and then we choose the APIS because this is a single phase system. And then here we choose the slave, and then we see the address is zero two. It means this yeah, this one is a slave. Also, let's move to the third one. To the master country, down area, payroll. If it's in the slave, zero sweet. And in the parallel system, each hybrid inverter, the PV, uh, the BV connection is uh, separately. As we can see, this one, the master, uh, connected to the PV, and the, the current PV is 287 volts. And uh, the signal one, the slave, don't connect to the PV. And the third one, the slave is also is didn't connect to the PV. And in the parallel system, uh, the battery states will be saved 97% that I don't see. This is the grid cable it used to connect to the grid. And this cable, this, this two cable, two cables. Um, come to the, the second one, hybrid inverter, the grid, the grid port. And then the, another set of grid, grid cable connect to the third one. They come to here. And then the another set of grid cable. It's this one. This one is the this one is connected to the, the circuit brake and then connected to the grid. Also, here is the little port. The little port also are connected together. This one. And then it comes to the second one. They come to, they come to here. And then they come to Come to here. So load the cable also connect uh, together. Also, the, the battery is uh, connected together. The three pieces have really virtual share one piece of battery. Here is the battery cable. The, the red the red one is uh, positive, the next, uh, black one is negative. And then you come to the signal one. Yes, the signal one, the signal one is uh, the signal one and uh, coming to this one. This one connected to the, the signal one, this is the third one. And also the another, the another uh, battery terminal cable is connected to the, this battery. <coughs> now also we need to use the uh, error communication cable. So because it, uh, it has a parallel two. In each hybrid, there was a two port for the parallel. 
and then get it to here. And it will go to here. Because we use the relay as a battery, so that we can use the communication cable. If you uh, battery is a lithium battery, you can choose uh, the CAN port or RS or RS or LFL port. So you can see the, this, this hybrid, the master hybrid, uh, connected to the PV. And the current PV is 348 volts. And here's the grid power, 600, 675 volts. The audible power is almost 500 volts. Here is a slave one. The grid is charging the battery and power the load. Here is the third one. The grid power the load and charging the battery. Also, we use the parallel system. We need to make sure the, the working model is safe. They don't export the load. They don't export the load. They don't export the load. Also, you need to make sure that each uh, converter is in uh, my version is same, because what is uh, I don't want to Also, this one, the computer is very spot blue. This is this one. And uh, also, we need to make sure the battery Battery setting. We need to make sure each uh, uh, on each hybrid inverter the maximum charge current and the discharge current uh, kept the same. Current may be set uh, as the 10 approach. Also, uh, you can click the setup icon and go to the device information. In this page, you will see the inverter's ID. The serial number, no, and the HMI, this version is for the LCD version. And this one is for the uh, control board version. And uh, when you see the pair of CAN bus port F29, that means the, uh, the communication between the, the master and the slave is failed. Now when, when, so, when uh, one of the hybrid inverter in the pair system has a port, uh, it will, it will, it will report F41, and it shows the parallel system stop.